I'm Matt. And I'm Chris. And we are NM Fantastic here at WonderCon 2013. Come along, friends. Let's go. WonderCon. So, uh, Wally, can you tell us how was it working with John Lasseter? <laughs> really? Wow. Uh, and how was Andrew Stanton to work with? <laughs> Who won an Emmy for your work on Animaniacs? Can yeah. you talk a little bit about that? You have fun working on the show. There's, you can't not have fun working on Animaniacs. Your most favorite project or character that you've worked on? Every project I've worked on has been really cool. The Paper Man was just neat and sweet and small. I think my favorite character is going to be in Frozen, though. So, I don't know if yeah. I can talk about her. Background Party Clown was my favorite <laughs> character to work on. I, I was Background Party Clown. in about two shots, but, you know, it's my first rig at the studio, and I feel real proud about it, really solid. I'd say Bolt, maybe. Yeah, Bolt? Yeah, I had a really good time on that. Uh, rumor has it that you used your little, do your little dog at home? I did. For? Little dog Charlie, when he was a puppy. <laughs> we brought him in the studio, and all, a lot of his little barks made it into his... Uh, into the doggy shelter scene in the beginning. Shrek 4, because it's my first one, and awesome. I love my art crew. They are the sweetest crew in the world. And where's Eva? Oh. I see that you're here with the Riddler. I am here with the Riddler. Riddler, do you want to step over here for a minute? Um, so you threw Beast to the side mm -hmm. for the Riddler. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Right. I, I like puzzles. Look. Works the mind. Right. <laughs> Less facial hair, you know. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not into hairy men. He gave you a big giant library, but at the end of the day, not enough. It's not enough. Wally, can we see you uh, in anything, you know, any future projects? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, work is, work is a little tough for everybody right now. <laughs> Nabu, how are you doing? <laughs> exactly. I am Dumalo Black, also fake Luffy from One Piece. Darko. Mon Blutain. Drip. Bonjaro. Have you guys hit any cool panels or anything? Oh. We went to the regular show panel uh, yesterday. Cake. No, literally, they had cake. To celebrate the 100th episode, they gave everyone who attended cake. Have you run into any other people from the Disney universe? I ran into Merida earlier today. All the way here from Scotland. Merida, how are you doing? I'm excellent. How are you? I'm doing great. See, her, her accent has already acclimated to uh, our Southern California ways. What are you doing here at the show? I'm shopping for comics. What do you do at a comic convention? You shop for comics at a comic convention? I thought you just talked Walk about TV shows and wear costumes. You know, that's a common misconception. Aquaman Man, how are things going? It's pretty good so far. It's a bit dry here, though. It's a really great crowd, and it's just, it's fantastic. There's a lot of people here, a lot of geeks excited about, you know, the pop culture things that we're, we love. But it seems to be getting a little bit more packed. Would you say De so? Uh, definitely. You used to be able to walk in and just get a ticket. Now mm. they sold out. You used to be able to go up into a panel, walk in. No, now you got to get in line two hours in advance. Being on land, how are you compensating with how dry it is down here in Anaheim? Uh, well, I got a big bottle of water in my bag, but that's all I really can do. I'm trying to take things easy, relax a little, not fight any supervillains. But if push came to shove and you had to throw down, you would protect these fine citizens, would you not? Well, some of them. And do you think that has anything to do with the fact that you've got the one ring of power? Do you think that that's drawing all these people here? You know, I should actually be using it more and go invisible so I can actually sneak into these panels. Are you getting the sense that Comic-Con is now kind of spilling over into WonderCon? It is. This is tw like twice as big as last year, from my opinion. Mm. I've never had to wait in line before here. Even even the king of Atlantis. Yeah, has even to I wait. have to wait, okay? <laughs> it looks like you're here by yourself today. Um sure. Excellent. Now, so what is the thing that you're And what are you most excited for for the weekend? Ooh, um pretty excited for the uh much ado about nothing panel tomorrow with I Nathan agree. Fillion. I agree. <laughs> John, thank you for what I like to imagine is uh, Wesley and Fred finding each other in another dimension. Um, my question is, so when do you get James Monsters and Juliet land out of playing the cafe? Uh,
you think you can sing us a little ditty? Can you talk about anything that you're currently working on? Yeah, I'm at DreamWorks right now, and I'm working on uh, Me and My Shadow. And I'm currently working on Frozen, so I'm really excited about that. Hey, me too! Yeah, look at that! Yeah. This is definitely top secret. I cannot talk about that. The last movie that just came out is Crude, and I worked on it actually four years ago for the early development pieces that Chris Sanders actually used to pitch to Jeffrey. So oh, wow. I'm very happy about that. Currently finishing up on Frozen. Did some rigging on uh, the two main characters in Paper Man and did uh, King Candy in Sour Bill in Wreck-It Ralph. Ooh, yeah, we're big Alan Tudyk fans. Rick, can you tell me what you're doing right here? They commission Chibi, you know, since they're not that like high in price, you know, they sell more under more appealing to not only just the kids, but like the kid in you. Have you had any time to walk around Artist Alley and check out what some of those guys are doing? Sometimes you can find a good like diamond in the rough where you can find right. that upcoming artist. Artist Patrick Ballesteros, how are you doing today, Patrick? Good, good. Is there a favorite print that you have here? I would have to say my favorite print is actually the one right here called Brownie Coats. Uh, it got popular online. I'm grateful for that. And uh, it's just, I love the show and it got canceled too soon. It did, and it I was did. Bummed. I'm really just trying to voice as much as I can uh, to my Facebook just to try to spread the word as much as possible mm -hmm. just to let artists realize the power they have and not let the studios or just these individual companies take advantage of them anymore and just know your rights educate yourself and you start to uh, you know you start to make a good career out of this otherwise you're gonna be a starving artist you know Thank you so much, everybody, for watching the WonderCon episode of Anim Fantastic. We've been having a blast. Matt, have you been having a blast? Oh, I've been having a blast. It's been a great weekend. It's been packed, way more packed than last year. Oh, yeah. Buy your tickets now for next year, guys. For those of you who are used to the uh, days of WonderCon being kind of the comm convention that you could just show up on the day of, buy your pass, waltz into any panel that you want, that's behind us. I think that the overspill of Comic-Con being almost this impenetrable force is now uh, having an impact on WonderCon. It's a, it's, a good, it's a good and bad thing. It's good because I think that uh, we're gonna start to see the panels are gonna be a little bit more interesting at WonderCon now, but at the same time, it's gonna be a little harder to get into things. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to everybody who interviewed with us in this episode, and yo, thank you for out there for watching it. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter. Facebook. And I'm fantastic. Smoother than plastic. Smoother than plastic. All right, everybody. See ya. WonderCon. Oh my God. Do you want to go to the WonderCon? Do you want to see? All the Magis, do you want to be at the WonderCon? And then we get the Mad Hatter and Green Lantern and someone wearing an Always Sunny Philadelphia shirt. Oh my god, it is WonderCon. There is Ganondorf. 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 Ganondorf.